Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and in today's video we are in spin tires and I am showing you guys the collection of mods that's going to be coming up soon in the coming single player videos and multiplayer videos. Now right off the bat we have the Warthog, we have a Nissan Patrol over there, that YJ is kind of like it's just here, um, it's just in the game, it's just here. Um, and then we also have a collection of second gen Rams, one's on a massive set of Swampers, the other's on some, uh, some Baja Claws. And then we have this ridiculous post-apocalyptic, post like, thingamajig machine. And, um, but first, without any further ado, I'm going to take the Warthog out and we're going to see how it does. And the thing is, the, the, the interesting thing about the Warthog, to me, is that not, not only do they bring the sounds over from Halo, and it sounds very Halo-ish, but it also drives pretty similarly to Halo, actually. And, I mean, if you guys have played a lot of Halo games, there's not really many things that can replace the Warthog. And, for me, the Warthog is just, whoa, god, it also rolls over like a Warthog. Which is to be expected, I guess. But the Warthog was always one of those fantasy vehicles for me. I always loved it. And I think, even here, like, it really does well. Like, it really, it, it does well here. It does, um, it actually kind of fits. And, which is is not, you know, is not maybe the most expected thing, you know, but you wouldn't really expect it to fit in spin tires, but it really actually does. I don't know if it fit for trail riding, but, but, I feel like, though, it'd be really fun to do a, like, Halo Warthog trail riding multiplayer adventure. If you guys think that would be something that would be, dang it, fun to watch, let me know in the comment section below. And you know what? That 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 direction just seems bad. Just seems like a really bad idea. Let's go back the other way and hit some of the trails over here because apparently that other direction is not for the warthog. Well, I, we could go that way, but maybe not right now. Because I'm tired of rolling over. <laughs> Plain and simple, guys. I'm tired of rolling it over. The turret makes it a little bit top heavy, but then again, it's. I feel like it kind of completes the, it kind of completes the look of the Warthog to have that turret on there, so I left it on. But yes, if you want the best wheeling experience you can get out of a Warthog, take the turret off. So far, hitting the trails, though, it's got a lot of suspension articulation. It's not, um, it's, it's, it's not hard to get this thing up and over obstacles. It's very easy, actually. It, and I think that's because of... Partly because of the grip, partly because of the four-wheel steering. I mean, look at this. It's just like... It just goes right up over things like it does in Halo. It, it actually wheels like it does in Halo. That's the tricky part. Ow. It... You know what? I, I know what I said about that turret. But it's very frustrating to have that turret on there. I'm taking it off. And we're gonna see how it does without the turret. And actually... Before we go anywhere, let's see what it looks like with, like, the, um, oh god, Ugh. with a, like, large transport. Holy crap! So we can't actually pull things with it. Or a small, eh. or a small transport, which is not really any smaller. <laughs> which is not really any smaller, but that's okay, because it's a warthog. Let's see if it's any less top-heavy without that turret. It already feels like it drives a little bit more stable. Come on, up and onto the bridge. Power! Come on! Oh my god, gearbox! That's one thing I will give this automatic gearbox. It's a slush box! Yeah, dude, this automatic gearbox is a total slush box. Oh, we seem to have disconnected the rear suspension. That's not good. No, that, whoa, that's not good at all. Mm-mm. Oh, don't get stuck in this, please. Ugh. These hill climbs would be great if they weren't just mud. The problem with them is they're nothing but mud, and it makes them so frustrating to try and climb that there's very few vehicles, if any, that can actually climb them properly. Because you get bogged down at the start and you can't get any momentum anyway. It's so frustrating. 
That's the only design flaw with this map, or at least major design flaw with this map. But let's see, actually, let's see if we can tow something with it. I'm very curious. Alright, stop right there. Not the small one, oh god. Zoom back in. Large transport. Yes! Uh, let's tow- let's tow the patrol. Now, keeping in mind that Nissan patrols don't usually get towed, um, they're- they're usually extremely stout vehicles. I wish we got them in the U.S., I really do. I love watching videos of these things, like, out in the Middle East and out in the desert, just, like, bouncing off the rev limiter across dunes and stuff like that. These things are monsters out there. I wish we got these, I seriously do. It'd be one hell of a wheeling rig, I'll tell you that. That ramp doesn't really look like it's like it's in the proper place, but we're going to try and load up anyway. It works. It works. It, yep. Yep. It works. Okay. Parking brake on. That was a lot simpler than I expected, actually. All right. Get that ramp up. And let's see how this does. Keep in mind the Warthog has 44s on it, so... It might not be the best thing for towing, but it could provide a lot of grip. And think about it, where else will you see a Warthog straight out of Halo towing a Nissan Patrol up an off-road trail? You- ah! You won't see that. That's the thing. You won't see that. Alright, let's hit some low range. Trailer's heavy. It's having a little bit of trouble, but, but, grip is, ugh. I was gonna say it's not the issue, but it's a little bit of an issue now. With the trailer, at least. It's a bit problematic. Come on. Try and low two, maybe seeing if I can get more grip. Neither one of those really work, actually. Is this stuck on the... Yeah, that sucks. Come on, get off the tree. Is it really even... It's not even on it. Yes, there we go. Yeah. Warthog for the win. I wish I had this trailer for other trucks, though. It'd be, it's actually a really nice trailer. It's a really nice trailer that I can really use with some of the other pickup trucks and stuff like that. Like, towing a wheeling rig to the trail? Hell yeah, this would be badass. Bump it up to low three real quick. Right around to the edge. Not bad. Now this is gonna be... Uh, <laughs> interesting. The only way to do it is just to go for it. Come on! It stayed on the trailer, and that is a success. I, 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 I feel like that's a total success. If that stayed on the trailer, damn. <laughs> it, oh, God. Uh, I don't know if I can manage this hill. Yeah, I don't know if it can manage that hill or not. But if it can't, which that has yet to be shown if it can't. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? It probably can. But, this gives us an opportunity <laughs> to test the Nissan Patrol. So, later, Warthog. It's patrol time. Wop, up, 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 rev limiter. <laughs> That's how they drive these things, you know. All right, come on. Just bypass the Warthog altogether. Grip is... Grip is pretty good. It's not... Eh, it's not the greatest, but it's pretty good. Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? Let me change that. It's, it, it is quite good. Yeah, look at that. Thing does well. For this section, I'm gonna pop it down to low two. I'm gonna try and walk it through here like I did the XJ, which it takes a similar line, so that's all right. These are a little bit bigger than XJs, but you can wheel them in a similar way. A little bit longer than XJs, really. Longer and wider.
Let's see if we can work our way up around the side. Oh yeah, not a problem. That did quite well. High center just a little bit, but I'm going to use high to hopefully grip up this edge. Yep! Where you use low and high is really important. Really important. I just wanted to shift it to high right there. I didn't have to. I just wanted to. Get a little bit of high right here. Bounce it up. Bounce it up. Come on, get grip. Get grip, get grip. Get There you go, dude. Man, once this thing finds grip, it has no problem at all getting up these hills. Doesn't doesn't really dig down much. It just grips and goes. It ooh until it finds a section like that. Yikes. That's sketchy. But oh, it's finding grip. It's trying to at least. Yes. There it is. Not bad. So this thing likes to be thrown around. It's not like the jeeps that like to be crawled up stuff. Like like to have you crawl up stuff with them. No, this likes to be, this likes to be thrown around. That's how you wheel a patrol, is throw it around, really. But, we'll do more wheeling with the patrol later. But I think overall, for this video, the main focus was the Warthog. The side focus was the patrol. And if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and hope you guys enjoyed.